All right, I wanted to go over a few things about buying an Oliver. There are some things that are okay if they're a little bent, broken, or missing, and there are some things that are pretty crucial if you want a working machine. The first thing is this ribbon vibrator. Make sure that these fingers are intact and the ribbon goes in between these fingers. If they're working right, hold on to the ribbon as it moves back and forth. If one of them is missing, then of course it won't work right. Nice thing to have is this little slide working because that is the way you can adjust to different colors on the ribbon if you have a red or a black. All right, I have the carriage off of this one and I wanted to show you another thing that's pretty critical is this star wheel. Occasionally if the carriage has been uh, abused, jostled back and forth, it's had a hard hit, these teeth will be chipped or missing. If they're chipped, that's not the best. If they're missing, you'll be typing and the carriage will skip. And then this is the backspacer. This bar right here has a 90 degree projection that engages this rail. And sometimes, again, if the carriage has been jostled, hit hard, uh, or the backspacer has really been pushed down hard, this will chip off. It's hardened steel and it'll break off. So watch out for that. Uh, nice things to have, let me back up a little bit, are these tab stops. They originally come with four. Most of the time they're there. Sometimes they're missing. Not crucial, but again, nice to have. The ribbon tin covers are also nice to have. Inside of here is a wooden spool. You need that wooden spool if you want to use the covers. There are replacements and they are made of plastic. They will fit in here, but you can't put the cover back on once you use that replacement. So just be aware of that. And then the other things to look for are the overall condition of the machine. If it has a clip and a string, that's nice. Uh, most of them will have a good spring inside the spring drum that can be repaired if that's not working. And then what I like to do is just go around the machine real quick to make sure everything's there. The bell, the bell dinger, the patent, little tags, sometimes this little cover's missing. And then your rails, as long as they're straight, that works. That's nice. And then um, if you have it, this little bar right here is of course the pencil holder and sometimes this little uh, screw is missing so if that's if you have that that is a nice addition and then go over the uh, carriage again these little paper feeds paper holders good to have those uh, the knobs and then one crucial thing is this spring on occasion it is missing that is really hard to come by. Most of the time it's there, just watch out for that. And of course, if your platen is cracked, the feed rollers are not in great shape, if the rest of the machine is in good shape, you can get them recovered. JJ Short does a good job with that. So that's about all I had for you. Oh, one other thing. Very seldom, but it does happen. At the base of these towers, occasionally if they've been dropped, one will be cracked. And the way you can tell is a real quick thing here. Uh, push down the P on one side and a Q on the other. And what you want is for your type bars to go one on top of the other. If one overlaps or undershoots, you know you have a little bit of a problem and that might be that these uh, one side of the machine or the other has a crack next to the tower causing the tower to lean in and then what I do is is I like to make sure none of the type bars are binding because sometimes somebody will put uh, something heavy on top of here or some reason or another these little protector um, nickel covers will be pushing down on the type bars and as long as they're free that's great those can be adjusted as well so that's not a deal breaker with the with buying the machine so anyway i hope this helps and good luck with your oliver purchase thank you for watching